game sum. Game sum is a front end for your emulators. Basically, I've been experimenting a little bit with emulation and front ends and kind of went down that rabbit hole. So anyhow, I went ahead and um, purchased this front end for my Android. Um, I have a NVIDIA Shield portable connected to my TV here. And I've got a few emulator, emulators that I've purchased. And then I went ahead last night and purchased this app called GameSum. And so I figured I'll show you what this is all about. So we'll go in. I've just decided to record this with my phone. So hopefully this looks okay. And uh, so here it is. I've only got a few emulators in here. A Game Boy Advance, a MAME emulator, um, a Sega one, Nintendo one, and a Super Nintendo. And all but this MAME one I purchased, and I forget the guy's name. Uh, let's see if we, if we can go back out here. The creator of these, let's go into this one. And scroll down about Robert Broglia. Anyhow, if you look up his emulators on the Play Store, his emulators are awesome. They are the 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 UI is just very simple and clean. All of the emulators that he makes have this same at least the ones I've purchased so far, have the same uh, UI as far as for your settings. So it's just clean. I, I really like it. So anyhow, um, well, and the SNES one I think is, yeah, I think he does that one also. So anyhow, these are the ones I've got on here. So let's go into Game Sum and we can see here that basically it's a front end just kind of um, shows you your, instead of going into your emulator, so if we go into Game Boy Advance here, or actually this one's the Sega one, if you go to load a game, you can see it just has your games listed in text like this. Just basically shows the file name. Whereas if you have a front end, the front end shows your emulators and has a nice little graphic and then if you go into the emulator itself, it'll list your games, kind of have them in this nice, this nice look of, of what they might look like in the boxes. So it's kind of a nice graphical, just looks pleasant. And then if we go ahead and just go into one of these, for instance, we can, if I long hold, so if I hold my A button and just long hold it, it'll give me some... You know, it just brings up this game menu. If I click right into it, it'll fire up the game. But I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm actually going to go ahead and go up into the uh, um, the settings here. So let's see if we back out and we go up into our settings. Let's go through the menu here. So here under general. We have, um, basically what I use under here is the hide unwanted platform. So you can check these and it'll hide all of the, um, all of this. So these are the, you know, I only have four or five emulators, so I only want them showing up in this menu. So instead of having 20 of them showing up here and no ROMs or anything within them, you can go ahead and hide the ones you don't have any ROMs for. So that's what I've done. Just hide them all just by checking the checkbox right there. It's pretty easy. Um, if we click up on emulators here, this is um, where you can choose to set your default emulator. So under NES, if I go into it, my the one I purchased here, 
I just set that as the default. That way when I fire up the game back up in the other menu there, it'll just obviously open that one. You could go in there and I have RetroArch on this uh, Shield Portable, but I don't really use it at this time. So, anyhow. So you can go through and set your emulators. Choose your default emulators. Pretty simple. The paths, this is going to be where your ROMs are located. So I keep my ROMs in a uh, folder if I get out here. If I go into ES and let's go over to device here. Um, I keep all of my ROMs just in a folder. Oh my gosh, where am I here? Sorry, trying to maneuver this with my chilled controller, so it's kind of a pain, but... Um, anyhow, I have a folder in here called... ROMs. Oh, here. Duh. On this other side, I think. I see. SD card. Okay. There we go. SD card. And if I come down here... Where are we? ROMs. And then I just have my... Uh, let me change this view. That's my problem. I don't like this view. I want... How about medium list? No. This is dumb. Dumb! Um, large detail. Alright, well, it's not going to do it in a single view. So, anyhow, I just create my folders and I put e all of my ROMs in their own folders. Keep it clean. So, let's go back in the game some. We'll go over into our settings. And if we go over to the paths, so here you can choose your paths for, so for instance, this is my NES ROMs. So I can click here, browse to the path. For instance, um, if I can continue to go up just to show you. So I would... I would scroll through here, find my ROMs folder, there it is, click on it, this is the NES I think we said we're doing, click on it, and then right here just click set this folder, so now it's set. So now when I file up my emulator, um, it's going to know, GameSum is going to know to point it to here. I don't think there's anything else in there. Other than that, and look at all of these emulators. I mean, this is a this game. Some this front end will works with a lot of emulators. Pretty cool. Game browser here, the game launch mode. So when a game is long clicked, like I did, the game menu is it will come up. If a short click, it'll just uh, show the bill. Short click mode will execute the game. Long click will. Okay, so I'm in quick mode right now. Um, if we click it, we could go to default. Let's try it. Go to the default. We can come back out, go to a game, and if I long click, okay, let's see. So if I come down to a game and I long click, brings up the game menu. If I just select it, it doesn't do a darn thing, but show it up in, I don't even know what's that, what's that doing? So I guess it doesn't, in the other mode, quick mode, if I click it, it'll just fire up the game. Here, I guess it just 
If you want to go into the game, you got to pull up the game menu. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and move to my settings. And I'm going to change that back because I prefer the quick mode. And there we go. The grid mode setting, this game detail setting selects. With, so this is just kind of the way you want it to look when it shows your games. Game image options. Again, you can play around with that. Uh, let's see if we go back up here to input. I don't use this. I, so far, I've just been using the default. I haven't messed around with this a lot, so the back button. Um, I'm not sure if this is to... I don't know exactly what this is. I'm not sure if this affects when you're in the game or if this has to do with moving around this um, GUI. But I haven't messed with it yet. I'll have to play around with that. About, this is who makes it. It's developed by Vector. And then this, you can get the free version of this. And it's about, you know, that has ads at the bottom. The little display ad for $2.75. I went ahead and purchased it. And so far... I'm happy with it. So, let's go in and try this. So, let's pull a game up. Zero, one. You know, I'd continue. <laughs> forward through this. Anyhow. Shows the game. Let's back up out of this, though. Um, let's go into our main And we can see, I'm going to use this mouse on the, the deal. But we can go ahead and let's try, um, oh, look at that. Let's click over here at the R. Why is that not working? What's going on? There we go. And let's try Robotron. Now, <clears throat> the one thing you do have to do is you do initially have to go into the to your emulator to configure your controller. And then it's all, you know, so here's, you know, my settings, my MAME settings. I can come in here and this is what it looks like on Android, at least on the on the uh, Shield Portable. So, all my settings. But I'm not going to worry about that. Let's uh, give it a try. And I still need to configure these correctly because it still is. All right, there we go. Yeah, let's run over here and get her. And yay! There they are. Get away from her. Anyhow. Let's quit that. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll come back and organize it by clicking all. I guess i got to get right on it. There we go. 
So there's that. I wonder if we can try the display. Let's see. Let's go back and change the display here. Let's go to settings. Let's come over here to game browser. Um, game image. What's this? Stretch, keep back, expect prompt. What's this one? Brr, 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 grid, game detail settings. Huh. Thought you could change it to a different, like into a grid look, but. You'll need to restart the app to apply the change. Platform selector style. I don't know what this is. Let's try orbs. You need to restart the app. All right. Oh, look at that. And I do not. Well, that's just dumb. What's up with that? Huh. All right, let's go back. Platform selector, let's try parallelograms. Let's back out of the app. Come back into it. Yeah, I think I like that much better. And then, well, I thought you could change this to a list. Maybe you can somewhere. Um, Oh, and then here, it enable, this is automatic games folder. So like I said, I have my folder set up with the ROMs. I created my own folder, just put all of my ROMs organized in there, and then each emulator, I point, I go into its settings, and I point um, the uh, emulator to, you know, the ROMs. It's just easier for me to maintain the ROMs that way. So, but here you could actually just allow this game sum to do it and I'm assuming I haven't done it but it would automatically create the subdirectories for your ROMs and then you would just go ahead and put your games in there or your ROMs in there so one could do that I haven't done that um, yeah I can't think of anything else really to show on here um, Grid mode, game launch mode, well, anyhow, I think that's about it. That is game sum, front end, and I say it was worth my $2.95. Anyhow, that's about all I got. Smell you later.